Hi friends, welcome to Planetis YouTube channel. In this video, I will try to solve a problem on cards, which is doing rounds on different social forums these days. This puzzle is based on one's logical reasoning potential. I request you to go through the video completely to understand the solution well. Let's have a look at the puzzle. The puzzle says Ricky is thinking of one of the cards in the fan above. He places the card face up on the table, whispers the suit of his card to Dan and the value of his card to Dave. Now, as you can see, the problem is taken from art of play. It is also doing rounds on different social forums these days. So we have seven and eight of hearts, four and six of spade, four, seven and jack of diamond, six, jack and queen of club. Let's have a look at the conversation that's happening. Dan says, I don't know which card you are thinking of, but I'm sure that Dave doesn't know it either. To which Dave replies, at first I didn't know, but now I do. And finally Dan says, well, now I know it too. So we have to figure out which card is Ricky thinking of. That means we have to figure out the value as well as the suit. Let's analyze Dan's first statement. Dan is saying, I don't know which card you are thinking of, but I'm sure that Dave doesn't know it either. So to begin with, let's observe that eight and Q are the only two values which belong to unique suits. Eight is a heart and Q is a club. All the other values in the given fan belong to two suits. For example, you can see seven of heart as well as seven of diamond. From Dan's statement, it becomes clear that the suit cannot be heart or club because if that was the case, then he would not have been confident on Dave not knowing the card either. So we are left with two suits, as you can see, that is spade and diamond. Now let's look at what Dave replies. Dave says, at first I didn't know, but now I do. Now he knows the value as well as the suit. Now what does this statement mean? Let's try to understand. This statement means that he knows the value which was common with either heart or club, right? Because heart and club are eliminated in the first by the first statement. Hence, we can also say that number four is also ruled out because it is not common with heart or club, right? Now we are left with seven of diamond, jack of diamond and six of spade. Now we, can, we have figured out here that Dave has figured out the actual card. Now, finally, Dan replies, I have the, I have figured out the card too. Now, suppose Dan had diamond, he would have not made this statement as there are two possibilities for diamond that is seven and Jack. But the fact that he could nail the card clarifies the as that he has spade. Thus, Ricky was thinking of six of spade. I hope that the solution is clear to all of you. In case of any doubts, please feel free to comment below. Thank you so much for watching this video.